वंदे गुरु परंपराम आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू विथ माय लव एंड रेस्पेक्ट्स आई वेलकम ऑल द डिवोटीज डिसाइपल्स समाजी सत्संगी सिटिंग विथ अस थ्रू नित्यानंद टीवी लोटस टीवी साधना टीवी ईश्वर टीवी जनश्री टीवी एंड थ्रू टू वे वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंसिंग मेनी सिटीज in many countries around the world city is sitting with us through two way video conferencing oman sivagangai colorado springs usa kathmandu nepal new jersey toronto kailasam oklahoma somanatham los angeles arunachalam santa fe new mexico winnipeg canada new york varanasi washington dc sripuram dubai vaithyanatham london kashi Bogota, Colombia, Varkala, Kerala, and Indrani, New Jersey, Austin, Texas, Sparta, New Jersey, Port Washington, New York, Hyderabad, Gupta Kashi, Ohio, Ma Shivananda, San Diego, Tiruvallavai, Hyderabad, Gupta Kashi, Bogota, Colombia, Singapore, Singapore, London, Kashi, Dubai, Vaidyanatham, New York, Varanasi. नित्यानंद नगर हईदराबाद ग्वाडलूप रामेश्वर लास्जलि अरुणाचल ह्यूस्टन कालाहस्ती मेलबोर्न आस्ट्रेलिया ई वेलकम आल ऑफ यू वि मै लव एंड ब्लैसिंग ऐल एक्सपैंड आ ट्रूथ आफ का एनलमेंट अंडरस्टा वे यू वाट का एनलमेंट इन अदर्स Don't even expect the other person will understand either the depth of enlightenment or your sincerity. Please understand your authenticity or what you are trying to do. It's depth to the other person. For whose sake I am dedicating my life? Those fools are only trying to hurt me. it is like a root is abusing the fruit but the fruit exists to become a seed and create more and more roots in a way i can put it in this way also the root only supplies energy to the fruit and the fruit is abusing the root <laughs> understand that is what is like if they know they need our service then what we are offering is no more service it is a business serving the person who even doesn't even know he needs your service is real sacrifice that really needs strength courage to serve so first thing you need to understand do not expect the other person will completely realize the reality of what you are teaching even if you help the person to get out of a headache or a knee pain it is causing enlightenment understand if you remove by giving one meal if you remove hunger from him for next few hours that is causing enlightenment if you just give him few clothes and help him to save protect himself from the weather that is causing enlightenment giving him medical care and helping him to come out of some physical suffering it is causing enlightenment giving him the knowledge of completion and helping him to come out of psychological sufferings mental pains it is causing enlightenment helping him to evolve consciously and get enlightened it is causing enlightenment as multiple dimensions please listen align your whole thinking whole life for others the secret of success is your sincerity to make to be a cause for others reality whatever field you may be whether you are a doctor or a engineer or a spiritual leader lawyer political leader social leader 
a student, a teacher, whatever may be your life, your profession, you, your sincerity to cause others reality makes you successful. Your sincerity to cause what people want in their life that is the secret, that is the formula, that is the methodology for success. Be a catalyst for everyone to realize their reality. A lawyer should be a catalyst for everyone to get justice. A doctor should be a catalyst for everyone to have health. A politician should be a catalyst for everyone to have whatever possible growth, auspiciousness, good things in their life. A teacher should be a catalyst for everyone to have knowledge. A spiritual leader should be a catalyst for everyone to have enlightenment. Decide your life will be a catalyst for others reality. I tell you, when you start causing others reality, suddenly from thousands of directions, 10,000 hands will come and cause your life into reality. That will be cast as reality. I tell you, so much of auspiciousness will be showered on you. So much of wonderful things will be expressed through you. Whenever I say cosmos showers, I can't contain my smile. It's like this, the school boys, when they fall in this puppy love, whenever their girlfriend's name is uttered, they can't contain the smile in the heart. I tell you, my puppy love was this concept. Because this was told to me by Raghupati Yogi, he actually demonstrated, still I remember, there was a Nagalinga flower tree in Arunachala temple. I am so happy that these fellows did not touch the tree. Still the tree is alive, it is there. Still the tree is there in the temple. There is a place called Krithigai Mandapam where Raghupati Yogi used to teach yoga to me and some more students he had, the tree is there next to that mandapam. He told me, go and tell the tree that you will water the tree every day and you will send your love to the tree for the tree to flower. The tree was not flowering for quite a long time. He told me to do that. I said, okay. I started doing. Maybe it took one month. Suddenly one day, when I went there, I saw the whole tree, so many flowers. And please understand, understand when I touched that tree and did that same practice I used to do, I will feel that I am giving my love and my feeling, my support that the tree should flower and it should be happy. When I touched the tree, I tell you, I have not shaken the tree and I am a small boy, I can't shake that whole tree and all. When I touched the tree, at least 100 flowers showered. <laughs> Literally showered on me. This word, the cosmos showers, was given to me by Raghupati Yogi experientially. That is why when I utter that word, I can't contain my smile. I tell you, be cause for others' reality. I want to repeat this line. Be a cause for others' reality because being a cause for others' reality is your being the cause for your being. When you are authentically, sincerely cause others' reality, suddenly you will realize that is your cause. As long as you have some hidden agenda, selfish agenda, the fear whether that agenda will be fulfilled or not will always be there in you. 
just drop all agenda and decide you will cause only others reality after even if you want to suffer society with cosmos will say hey, you cannot be tortured go go you are not a rowdy we saw in tamil movie there's a comedy scene one comedian will tell the police i am also rowdy take me to the police station arrest me put me in jail they'll say hey, no 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 you are not a rowdy you cannot be put in jail go go same way you will tell the cosmos come on i am a human being kill me torture me put me in suffering cosmos will say no 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 you are not for all that you are useless go go understand bring sincerity to the context of your existence that is where the whole thing boils down that is where you get the confidence about you see not bringing right context to the existence of your self is self denial one side of your heart will tell you no 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 let me decide to be authentically sincerely be cause for others reality but the other part of you will tell no 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 if you are that sincere people will cheat you exploit you as if you have something to lose you don't have anything other than this stinking six feet body what else is there for you to lose and that foolish stupid plans and projects you have grown <laughs> in that six feet body <laughs> without having intelligence and responsibility <laughs> only those things are left i tell you decide to bring authenticity to the cause of your existence why you exist what is the context from which you want to operate bring sincerity into that whatever incompletions your mind brings out no 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 if i start causing others reality they will exploit me my time will be wasted and maybe they will try to cause harm to me what whatever incompletion comes up understand as early as possible those incompletions is not going to bring any fulfillment to your life and complete with them they will only be distracting and destroying you the earlier you understand better for you those incompletions which does not allow sincerity into the context of your existence is self denial atmahadya in sanskrit there is a beautiful word atmahadya the same word is used for suicide also i'll expand why suicide is not just killing your body making you useless for yourself and others also is suicide so first thing you need to do authentically listen to yourself that is the basic survey you need to do it is a purva baksha you need to do for your life the purvanga you need to do as your life what have you done with it in from the moment you are born or you know you exist usually between the 0 to 3 that is the age you start remembering you exist you start realizing you exist between 3 to 7 you start realizing you exist as a body or mind then from 7 to 14 the patterns develop your attitude identity qualification personality qualities the vyaktitva starts developing the first thing listen to yourself authentically what have i done with my life from the moment i know i exist is it looking a big mess or is it looking little mess little bliss or is it looking little mess lot of bliss 
or is it looking lot of mess little bliss first take a stock and one more thing when you take stock don't believe what your mind says i am only telling listen to the mind i am not saying believe your mind authentically provide listening let your mind cry and tell all the sob story conduct a tv serial <laughs> Ten years before that fellow poked me here, this boy poked me here, and my friend put that pencil on my body. This girl took away my chapel. Let your mind tell everything. Nothing wrong. Everything your mind thinks, listen authentically. I am not asking you to believe. And same way, I am not saying don't believe, don't pass any judgment. It is right or wrong. Just listen by just providing authentic listening to you. You will melt down the deep depressions created by your own incompletions with you. I tell you, just sit and listen to you. Provide authentic listening to yourself. Our banyan tree. And Vaidya Sarovar, these two are the best place for completion. Go to Kalabairava. For authentic listening, go to Banyan tree. Sit with Kalpa Vriksha. Listen to yourself authentically. Provide authentic listening to yourself in the breathing space of Kalpa Vriksha. Guys, at least some. That is why. Around the thousand feet, around the kalpa vriksha, no one can, nobody else can live. Only we can live. See, <laughs> how many people have tried to make what all? No one can do anything because that is the breathing space of kalpa vriksha. It is equivalent to temple. You can't build any other house, home. You can only build temple there. You can only do spiritual activities there. It's a presence of. Mahadeva, sit and provide authentic listening to yourself. Usually, when you try to listen to yourself, the first thing your mind will do is throw tantrum. It will cry. Then it will make you feel bored. Then it will tell you you are you are tired. Listen to all the three. Only after that you will understand. What is the incompletions you are carrying? Till then, you don't even know what is the incompletions you are carrying. Understand? Don't miss life without even knowing the incompletions you are carrying. It is like some fellow comes from all the way to US in business class ticket. From airport, he takes a cab, comes to the ashram. Goes round and just steals one old chapel. <laughs> Escapes. Goes back to his house. When he is trying to wear, he understands. He brought two different size chapels, two different persons. <laughs> it is not fitting. That is exactly you are doing in the planet Earth. With so much of difficulty, you took this body, came down, just to steal chapel that will, which will not be fitting for your leg. After go back, when you check, you will understand. Oh God, I just went to steal a chapel, and that also not fitting to my leg, and both the leg chapels are two different size, two different shape. When you leave the body, you will understand. You have only stolen chapel. Don't miss life like this. First, catch what is your incompletion. By providing authentic listening to yourself. See, when you provide authentic listening to you, you will also realize so many wonderful good things you have. You will also learn how to cause enlightenment to others. Yesterday I was talking to my Tamil publication department. I was training them and giving them my feedback about one of the book translated. I told them, first give this book to 10 fellows who are very 
a common Tamilian who, who is not an intellectual, who doesn't know the language much, who just reads newspaper and listens to the television news, sees some movies, give this book, like this, choose ten fellow and give them each one own copy, make them read and underline, let them underline all the words they don't understand. Then correct those words and bring it to me, only then we will publish it. There was a book getting translated in Tamil, one of my book. I also told them, not thinking for the person to whom you are serving is ego, arrogance. It's like a story I always repeat. In the school, one day the NCC teacher told all the students, NCC boys, every day you have to do one good act and come back and report to me. What does it mean by good act? Giving water to somebody or helping some old person to cross the road or giving a meal to somebody. These are all good acts. Next day, NCC class, six boys stood up and said, Sir, today all of us did a good act. The teacher asked, Tell me, each one of you guys, what you did. All of them shouted in chorus, All of us, all six of us helped the old lady to cross the road. The teacher was shocked. He said, Six people to help one old lady to cross the road? They said, Yes, sir, because she was Adam and she doesn't want to cross the road. <laughs> We have to forcibly lift her and cross the road. <laughs> See, not thinking about the person to whom you are serving is ego, is arrogance. <laughs> to whom you are serving, you don't think about his need. Whether you translate and publish a book or give a speech, Talk into the listening of the listener. You will learn that only if you provide authentic listening to yourself. Be sincere about listening to yourself. I tell you, that's the most joyful spiritual practice I have done. Listening to myself. I will sit in the banks of Ganga, not a few hours, day in and day out. Sun will rise and fall. Moon will rise and fall. I will just sit. If the sun comes out of the Victoria Hall, I used to sit in the banks of Ganga in Calcutta, the place called Telgat in Haura, just opposite. The other bank, uh, that side of the bank is the the Victoria Memorial. If the sun comes out of the Victoria Memorial, I know it is daytime. <laughs> if the moon comes out of the Victoria Memorial, I know it is night time. That's all. Day in and day out I used to sit. I tell you, suddenly I realized just like many things floating on the Ganga, thoughts are floating on me, but neither the things floating corrupts, pollutes Ganga, nor the thoughts floating in me corrupts or pollutes me. <laughs> Provide authentic listening to you, you will understand your sufferings are not your sufferings because you are suffering. Listen. Just provide authentic listening to yourself. Mahadeva is here in this campus in the form of living banyan tree. Please understand, all over the world in any temple, he is only in the, in the jata, in the matter, he lives as a consciousness. Only we have Chaitanya Vigraha. A living Vigraha, a living deity, the Kalpa Vriksha. Mahadeva is here as a juice of that banyan tree, as the leaf of that banyan tree. 
as the branch of that banyan tree is intense presence. So just sit and provide authentic listening to yourself. I tell you, nothing else is required other than providing authentic listening to yourself for you to achieve self-completion. For your self-completion, Swapuranatva, nothing else is required other than providing authentic listening. Essence of this year's, whole year's satsang, and essence of today's satsang, both put together, the essence of essence is provide authentic listening to yourself. Let you all achieve, experience, live, express, radiate, share and explore in eternal bliss. Nityananda Nityananda Dhyana Peetam Nityananda Nagar Off Mysore Road Bidadi Bengaluru Phone 080-2727-9999 www.nityananda.org www.youtube.com Slash Lifebliss